Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, in this video I wanted to show you uh, the newest journals that we have in our lineup uh, and it's quite a special one. Uh, it's called the Clover Fox Mental Health and Anxiety Journal. So what is this journal for? It's for those moments when, uh, when you feel anxious, stressed or worried about things. So it's not really a daily journal but it's more a journal that you can use whenever you need it. It comes in a standard E5 size and has our standard pen loop and an elastic band. And then inside you can find three sheets of stickers to decorate the pages with different inspirational quotes, illustrations and small signs that you can use to highlight important thoughts. So let's have a look at what we'll find inside. At the front you'll find our standard title page where you can add your name and contact details to make sure the journal can be returned to you if you ever lose it. And then here you have the small introduction. So what is this journal about? Uh, the journal is designed to guide you whenever negative thoughts and anxiety overtake you. Drawing from the effective principles of cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, this journal helps to examine and understand these negative thoughts and their triggers to reshape them into more balanced, constructive ones. Our goal is to encourage self-awareness and positive coping mechanisms so that you can navigate the complexities of emotions and thoughts with greater clarity and understanding. And what will you do here? You have a small plan of everything you'll find inside. So first you'll complete a self-assessment to assess your state of emotional well-being. So the self-assessment is here and here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine questions with A, B, C, D answers where you can assess your overall state of emotional well-being and also your anxiety level. So depending on which answer you have the most of, you either have a low anxiety level, good emotional well-being, or you might have a bit more of a higher anxiety level, depending on the answers. And you will engage in a series of exercises to understand CBT and equip yourself with the necessary tools to practice it. So each of these exercises will then be applicable on the daily entry pages, but here you'll have a longer explanation for each one. So for example, the first one, it's uh, a grounding exercise. So this exercise you'll be able to use at the beginning of each entry, whenever you feel stressed. This is a great technique to help you calm down and relax. So grounding techniques help you bring your attention back to the present moment, especially when you feel anxious, stressed or overwhelmed with emotions. This will be the first step of your journal and routine, helping your focus and calm down before you begin. To practice, you have to find a comfortable space and take a deep a few deep breaths. Look around yourself and identify five things you can see. Then close your eyes and write down four things you can hear. Find three things you can smell and two things that you can feel. And here you can reflect on how are you feeling now and what has changed in your emotional state. And the next exercise uh, is an emotional will. And this one helps you get better at identifying your emotions and their intensity. So here in the will, you can see eight basic emotions and 24 complex emotions that are all around the will. And usually you'll feel a mix of any of those emotions in any given situation. So this will will be helpful when reflecting on how any situation makes you feel. So to use it, remember a recent event that stored up strong feelings. Now look at the emotion will and to list up to six emotions you experienced as a result and their intensity. So here you can add your six emotions and the intensity of which one. Uh, over time, this exercise will help you get better and better and better in understanding how you feel and predicting how any given situation will make you feel as well. Now, the following exercise is the basis of cognitive behavior therapy because it's all about connections, how our thoughts influence our feelings, uh, which then affect how we act and what we do. So in this exercise, you'll be able to write down your thought, then the emotion the thought is bringing, is making you feel, and then the behavior that is being caused by that emotion. And here you'll be able to see how all of those connected and whether your behaviors are rational or rational, whether your emotions are rational or rational, and be able to analyze all of those. Then finally, this one is the last one. And this one is really helpful for understanding how to make your negative thoughts a bit more balanced. So our initial thoughts can often be imbalanced and overly negative because they're stirred up by really strong emotions. That's why learning to evaluate your negative thoughts and transform them into balanced ones is very important. To practice, you can record your negative thought here. Uh, so the example is, I can never do anything right. It's just one quite a few of us might have quite often. Then consider what evidence you have for this thought and evidence against. So for example, here the example is, my last big project at work didn't fail. And then the evidence against. 
is many of my other projects very successful. And then you can use this evidence to transform your negative thought into a balanced one. So for example, here it says, sometimes I fail, but I can also do really well, which is much more balanced and much more uh, realistic. This exercise is also great and by practicing it regularly you will be able to achieve a much more balanced way of thinking and be less affected by the negative thoughts. So, now let's move to the actual bulk of the journal. So these are the entries. As I've said before, you don't really have to fill it out every single day, but more use it whenever you feel the need to. Uh, you start by adding the day and the date. Then you complete the ground and exercise by recording the things you can see, hear, feel and smell. And now that you're calmer, you can describe the events that happened, the emotions that it has caused you. So here you can record how it makes you feel overall. And then here you can identify up up to six emotions that stand out and their intensity. Now here you can write down uh, your thoughts. So the thoughts you're having right now as a result of the emotions you're feeling because of the events that happened. Uh, and then here you can analyze your evidence for this thought and evidence against this thought. And then finally here you can use your evidence to transform your negative thought into a balanced one. Finally, at the end you can reflect on whether you've learned anything and if so, how you can act on it and use it next time when you feel worried. So, this journal is quite straightforward. Uh, it's more of an easy and simple tool to use whenever you feel you really need to calm down and reflect. Uh, if you have any further questions about this journal or any other journals that we might have, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll answer as soon as I can. Please like this video, follow our channel and press the notification button to be notified next time when we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!